It started out with just me designing the first actuators. I was traveling around in a van at that stage, so I was kind of developing them from the back of the car and in coffee shops. I went to university with Mark in Sydney, and then I lived with Mark in a shared house. We rented a couple of desks at a maker space in Sydney, and that was full of welders and woodworkers and ceramicists and all different types of people. Those were the early days. It was really just Paul and myself and Indy, our big, beautiful dog. They both studied at Sydney University Engineering. I was doing biomedical engineering. I studied mechatronics, and I was very into the possibility of developing something really complicated. And to develop technology that simply did not exist on the market. And as soon as we can take hazards away from humans, we can really add value. It's really the technology that drives the passion. I think I'm more technically focused and Mark had a much high level perspective how to build processes in a business, how to make sustainable systems, and our skill sets are very complementary. And I think it's really allowed us to grow this business. I think we're extremely lucky to find just highly intelligent, committed people who are really interested in the technology like we were. I still pinch myself when I walk in here and see so many people doing such amazing engineering. Getting to where we got to, you know, a testament to everyone who put in a lot of time and a lot of passion into this company. And now we hire 50 people. I would have never imagined that we would be where we are today. The leap that it's taken for us to, to develop a product as complex as this technically, probably more importantly, to build a team that's scalable, who can come and enter our company and really start adding value from, from day one. What surprises me most about this company, I think, is that we developed an incredibly technically difficult product and built a viable business out of it.